here with Coach Lee Part of Gilbert and your freshman quarterback Josh Strickland. Going into this game, you knew it was going to be emotional. Yeah. Then Tyler goes down. Then you end up falling behind 10-0, and you're able to overcome all of that to, with the win. Well, our kids believe and they put in a, a, a whole bunch of work. And, and when you're invested in something, you're not going to let it get away from you that easy. And, and so even though we had lost our quarterback down 10 to nothing, and, and River Buff was playing with a tremendous amount of emotion and playing well, uh, just real proud of our kids for fighting back and had all the confidence in the world in this young man right here. Uh, we, we knew we could run our entire offense with him. He does it every day in practice, and he's had a great summer in 7-on-7. Seven seven, so just real proud of him and all the guys and what they were able to do tonight coming back. How quickly did it take for you to gain your confidence? Well, at first it started off, I was, I'm not going to lie, I was pretty nervous. But once I worked that out and things started clicking, my teammates started helping me make some plays. And then it's all good for me. 3-0, you already about matched your win total from the year before. Just really, what has it been really since the preseason on? It seems like it's been like a momentum swing here. Uh, we've had a lot of momentum. It just keeps building and building. Um, you know, from our scrimmages. First of all, we had a great summer in seven on sevens, and it just kind of rolled. That rolled right on into the uh, preseason in August, and with the scrimmages we kept getting a little better each one of them. The uh, jamboree with Lexington was a big confidence builder for us, and. And momentum is on our side right now. We don't want to lose it, that's for sure. For yourself, how do you carry on if you got to play again next week? I'm just going to stay working hard, stay grinding in practice. Stay supporting my boys over there. And just keep making plays. Well, Coach, sort of another subject. It seemed like today all the smaller schools beat the bigger schools in Lexington County. You had yourself, yep. Brooklyn Casey, right. and also Chapin. I mean, what does it say sort of about the little guys, I guess, when it comes in this county? Hey, it's a great day for the little guys. Uh, you know, we just, our kids play hard. And, and, you know, when we get a chance to play one of the big 5A schools or 4A schools, we see that as a great opportunity for us to show what we can do and earn some respect. And, you know, and our kids get excited about it. And I'm sure that was the same with uh, BC and Chapin today, too. And then finally, you're wearing the Long Live Loose shirt. What, um, talk about just getting involved and just showing the soul support to River Bluff. Uh, you know, they, they, we're in the same district, and we're great friends with those guys over there as coaching staff. And, and a lot of our kids know one another, too. A lot of our kids knew Lou uh, from 7-on-7 seven seven camp this summer. And, you know, it was just a little something we could do. Our student council was great this week. They raised $2,000 uh, for Lou's family this week. And uh, the whole Gilbert community pitched in there uh, with that. And, you know, wearing these shirts tonight, it's just a little something we could do to show our support because can't imagine that, that heartache and hardship they've been going through.